Aloha everyone, and here we are today to talk about the seven principles of Huna, the Hawaiian way. You know, I've adopted these principles into my life and made my life fantastic because of them. I truly believe that. And the first principle I'd like to talk about is EK. The world is what you think it is. And what I mean by that is, as you think, you create. So it's important to understand what you're thinking about, so as you can be aware of what you're creating in your life. So remember, as we think, we create, EK. The second principle is Kala, which means there are no limits. You know, many of us place limits upon ourselves in our lives as to what we can and can't do. So Kala is all about releasing those limitations and believing that we can do anything. So that's Kala. Third principle is Makia. Makia talks about focus. Focus on what you want and not what you don't want. You know, a lot of us tend to focus on the things that we don't want rather than the things that we do want. So you've all heard of the saying, energy flows where attention goes. This is what Makia means. Fourth principle is Manawa. Manawa talks about the importance of living in the now. You know, we all worry about the past and we all think about the future and whilst we're doing that, we're not living in the now. So the now is a very powerful moment in time because it's when we bring ourselves into the current moment in time is when we're the most powerful. And now is the moment of power, now is the time to act. That is Manawa. The fifth, prin fifth principle is Aloha. You know, Aloha means a lot of different things, but with the principles in the Hawaiian way, it talks about what you love and what's most impassionate, what you're most passionate about and most important to you. You know, for me, it's my job and the work that I do. I'm very passionate about what I do and I put my heart and soul into my work. So it's the same with Aloha with you. It's very important that you put your heart and soul into what you do and love what you do. It talks about passion. Sixth principle is mana. All power comes from within. You know, it's very important to stand in your own shoes and make your own decisions and be strong and confident about what it is that you want to do and how you want to go about it. And it's very important you don't allow others to dictate to you and say you can't do this and you can't do that. You know, if you've got a great idea and you want to go ahead with this dream and this plan and this goal, then it's important for you to stand in your mana, in your power, and know what it is you want and go forward and take that. That's mana. And the seventh principle is Hono. Effectiveness is a measure of truth. And what I mean about that is living life right, doing the right thing and being the most effective you can in whatever it is that you do. You know, it doesn't matter how you're going about something, whether it's working or not, there's always a better way of going about it. You just have to have a bit of a think about that. It also talks about honesty and integrity in that the way that you go about living your life and doing it is whatever it is that you're doing. So Hono is a very important one to me and one of my favourites because I also liken Pono and see Pono as always turning the negative into a positive and always looking at life in a positive light. And as soon as you use your awareness, your EK, and realise that you're not being perhaps as positive as you could be, to turn that around, that thought pattern around, and be more Pono, be more positive, and to live right. And remember, if you're going about doing something and it's not working out for you, there's always another way of doing something. So these are the seven principles that I've come to learn and love and I've adopted these and lived these in my life every day because after all, what I'd like to say to people is live the principles, incorporate this into your life and make it a part of your life and you really do start to see changes. I've made huge changes in mine and it's all because of the seven principles and I continue to strive and work with that all the time to improve my life and make it even better and better. So this is why I'm so passionate about this and this is my message and take time out to listen and learn and read about the seven principles and adopt them all into your life. Aloha, bye for now.